Hello, my name is Cameron Isis, and welcome to this installment of LoopCore's Technical Bulletin. Today's video clip is about the LoopCore Low Cost Timer, part number 12.015. In this video, you will learn three things. First, how to set the pause and work time of your low cost timer. Second, how to ensure that your low cost timer executes consistent grease cycles. And third, how to perform a test cycle with your low cost timer. Our first topic today is how to set the pause and work times. To start, you will need to take the lid off of the timer. There are two small screws in the lid of the timer. Remove them using a number two Phillips head screwdriver or drill bit. The low cost timer is equipped with five pause times and three work times. The pause times are 37, 75, 150, 300, and 600 minutes. The work times are 45 seconds, 90 seconds, and 180 seconds. Once the lid has been removed, you will be able to set the pause and work times. On the circuit board, you will see two small bridges and a set of electrical connection prongs. To change the pause interval, simply remove the right bridge from its current location and place it at the desired pause setting. As you can see here, I have changed the pause interval from 37 minutes to 300 minutes. To change the run time interval, simply remove the left bridge from its current location and replace it at the desired run time setting. As you can see here, I have changed the run time interval from 180 seconds to 45 seconds. The next feature of the low cost timer that I will discuss is the timer memory. The timer memory records how long the equipment has been operating since the last lubrication cycle. Because of this feature, the timer always executes lubrication cycles at the correct interval. For the timer to execute this function, the battery pin, number one, and the ignition pin, number three, must have separate electrical connections. If you connect ignition to both pins, number one and number three, your timer will not provide consistent grease cycles. The last function that we will cover today is the test cycle. To verify that your LoopCore automated lubrication system is working, you can quickly activate a test cycle with the low cost timer. To do this, press the red button on the front of the timer for 3 seconds and then release it. This will execute one pump cycle. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions about what we covered, our contact information is in the video description below. Please subscribe to the LoopCore YouTube channel as there are more informational videos on the way.